Yes, that and meantime, the National Weather Service is working to fill more than 100 critical vac vacancies ahead of hurricane season, now just really right around the corner. And Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live in Hollywood now with the latest on what we're now hearing from experts in the area. Christina. The budget that uh, has been proposed would cut a couple of very key contributors. To NOAA's Cooperative Institutes explains retired hurricane specialist James Franklin, research hubs that work with NOAA to help determine how strong a hurricane may be and where it could make landfall. If these groups go away, the Hurricane Center will still be there, they'll still be making the forecast, but they won't have the same kinds of tools uh, that they've come to expect. In my mind, when I heard this, it scared the crap out of me. Also it's worried good. about how additional cuts to NOAA's funding and staffing could impact how storms are measured, tracked, and modeled as we approach the start of hurricane season. My degree is in ocean engineering. Is this retired NOAA engineer? I was very proud of everything that we did at NOAA. I don't get emotional. Has there been any thought to, what, if we get rid of these people, how are we going to do this? And then what's going to happen about hurricanes that are coming in? Are we going to get accurate forecasts? The forecasters at the Hurricane Center don't work in a vacuum. There's a whole support structure around them that provides data, that provides techniques, uh, that helps keep things running. We're throwing that kind of out the window with, with all of these cuts. It's a, it's a generational loss of progress that is going to be very, very difficult to restore. Taking aim at the agency's support structure, he says, could jeopardize the accuracy of forecasts and the lives of South Floridians in a storm's path. It means that somewhere down the line, there will probably be a big forecast failure. I think ultimately you will end up killing people when uh, people don't trust the forecast or you have too many people that have to evacuate, get stuck on the roads. Uh, it's not a recipe for keeping people safe. Working on your behalf, I did reach out to your local federal lawmakers on this issue. We'll have more on that coming up at Local 10 News at 6. For now, reporting live for you from Hollywood, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Okay, Christina, we look forward to your report.